That shit is actually comedy. I um, do want to talk about sports on this show. There's rumors about a new OC, new quarterback coach, assuming mm-hmm. that they move on from Corey, whether Corey leaves or gets fired. Don't know. But the name that got brought up, and it's been brought up every single year around this time when people think that Ryan Day needs a play caller, is Dan Mullen. That's the rumor. Rumor mill circulating. Dan Mullen to Ohio State as QB coach and OC. Give it to us. I mean, first of all, let's let's just preface this. Anything's possible, right? I certainly, it could happen, right? I also could chop off my dick and wear a wig, right? I also, God, I'm just saying like, like anything in life is possible, I Mm -hmm. guess. But this is, to me, my opinion, knowing both, both men, Ryan Day and Dan Mullen, as well as I do, I worked with both of them for a long time. This is lazy reporting. I know they're from the same hometown. They're both from New Hampshire. All, all the fucking things. Ryan worked for him at, Ohio, at Florida. He was his GA. Like, all the the sensational media. Like, the, here's the reason. Did you know they're from the same hometown? Did you know they both both idolized Chip Kelly? But Like, all the shit that people are going to say. Ryan Day hates that motherfucker. <laughs> like, he does not like Dan Mullen. He's not going to hire Dan Mullen. Like, put it to bed. If he does, I will be more shocked than I've ever been since I started this show. So no, this is this is just lazy reporting. I know that you can draw the connect the dotted lines. I know you can do that. He ain't coming to, to Columbus. No shot. And never mind that. Dan Mullen has too big of an ego. He in his mind, next job he's gonna get is a big time head coaching job. Mm-hmm. It's just it's not gonna happen. And Buckeye fans, I wouldn't want it to happen. You want to talk about can't recruit. Go look at those. Ask a Florida fan about Dan Mullen as a recruiter. Like, you think we're missing five-star quarterbacks right now? Oh, buddy, you ain't getting one. That motherfucker comes to town. You don't even have to ask a Florida fan. You can go pull up the interview where in the middle of the season, he said, we're not recruiting right now. Right. Dude is, I, I wouldn't hire, I wouldn't want him. If I was, if yeah. I'm a Buckeye fan, I don't want Dan Mullen coming to Columbus. So you were one of the few people that were around with what Dan Mullen, Ryan Day, and Justin Fry, and Urban, right, all in the same building at the same time. Did anybody like Mullen? Well, Mullen, they weren't all there at the same time. Okay, Ryan. Ryan so when Ryan was there, and Dan Mullen and Urban, I was there. Fry wasn't there. Okay, and then Ryan was only there for one year and left. Fry came a couple years later, but. Um, so Justin and, and, and Dan don't haven't really crossed paths. Um, urban urban's best quote you could give is he, Dan Mullen's a good football coach, but he's not a guy I want to go get a beer with like him. Like I don't necessarily like him. He's just a good football coach. And Ryan Day couldn't stand him. Couldn't stand him. Was, couldn't stand him. Was he condescending to Ryan when Ryan, cause I know Ryan what? was, was a GA there, bro. You can't even call it condescending. I'm talking abusive, like a, a petulant asshole that got a little power for the first time, and, and he was a bully. He bullied Ryan. Damn. So, yeah, pro- probably not happening. No, not uh, happening. I'm sticking to Tim Cramsey. I said that name to you yesterday, and it's just my, my same attempt at, like, lazy reporting. Tim was the uh, – <laughs> was – where did – what, Rhode Island was where Ryan Days went to school? No, what New I, Hampshire. New Hampshire. Oh, yeah, so Tim Cramsey was a quarterback at, at New Hampshire before Ryan Day was – um, like by a year, and then Tim coached there for a while. He's been coaching for like twenty or some twenty some years, and then he um, now he's at Memphis coaching quarterbacks in the OC over there. And the Memphis quarterback just threw for like thirty five hundred yards and and thirty touchdowns. And he's also a guy that's a Chip Kelly guy from that tree. So that's that's what I put together. And the offense looks similar ish to Ohio State's offense, but obviously I'm not the expert. I just I just watch TV copy and be like, okay, look three wide. Yeah, that <laughs> looks like us. Look, hey, so, some crossers. I, I can I can see the mesh concepts. I see the mesh. Okay, stretch. Okay, I see stretch. Hey, hey, hey! Look, it's our I, offense. I recognize that. Shout out to the uh, the coach's film room and, uh, <laughs> and me for going down this deep rabbit hole. But uh, but he's not as obviously not as big of a name as as a guy like um, Dan Mullen. But Memphis back to back years top five offense in the country. Hey, it means something. Just saying, just saying that would be one that we had first, and that's me doing uh, some uh, some good old lazy reporting, <laughs> right? Right. 